I'm working on a city exploration game where every building can be entered. The idea has always been to build a procedural city that is not only dense, but also vast. And a vast city needs transportation to get around and really get a sense of its scale. So the first gameplay element I decided to add was vehicles. To keep things simple, I started with a self-driving hover car that I plan to use both for the city traffic and as a taxi for the player. I decided to go with a hover car specifically because the game is VR first and the type of movement that is comfortable in VR may not be realistic for a regular wheeled car. I'm talking about minimal acceleration and configurable turn radius, so if the player is not comfortable with smooth turns, they can set the car to snap turn. In order to get my vehicle moving, I had to build a navigation system from scratch. Normally in games, the NPCs and vehicles move on a navigation mesh that is pre-generated by the engine. This solution would not work for me though, as the game world is too large and generated on the fly. In another open world game, it would probably be solved by generating a navigation mesh only around the NPC or vehicle, but this solution would not work for me either, as the vehicles have to move strictly on the roads and on the correct side of the road as well. So I'd have to use graph navigation as opposed to mesh. The way I solved this problem was by writing a custom navigation controller that stores a collection of road and street segments for the area where the player is currently located. As the player moves around, new segments get added and the ones left behind get removed. But that still doesn't give me a graph that can be navigated, as the road segments have different sizes and orientations, don't fit together perfectly, and may even intersect at some points. So in order to build a graph from this assortment of segments, I have to detect intersections and split them in those spots, as well as merge points by proximity to form graph nodes. The direction of the road segment is also taken into account to make sure the vehicles drive on the correct side of the road. As you can imagine, such operation is fairly slow, so I decided not to build a global graph every time the segments change, but rather build a smaller graph when navigation is requested by a vehicle and only use the segments within a certain proximity to that vehicle. Next, once I have a graph, I can use one of the standard pathfinding algorithms to navigate from the closest point to the vehicle to the closest point to the target, no matter where that target is. Of course, I have to keep updating this path as the vehicle moves and new roads get loaded. I use the A star algorithm as it is considered the most efficient. This creates a problem though, as sometimes the newly loaded parts of the path lead the vehicle back to where it came from, then get unloaded, making the vehicle go back to the previous path, thus creating an infinite loop. I solve this problem by having a memory of recently traversed road segments and excluding those segments from future navigation to make sure that such loops aren't possible. The final touches on vehicle navigation were path smoothing, vehicle facing the forward direction, and obstacle avoidance. That last one I'm still working on, that's why there aren't any more cars on the roads yet, but everything else is in place. The navigation system has definitely been the hardest part of development so far, and I had to figure out all this stuff on my own, so if you find any flaws in my logic or know a way to do it more efficiently, please let me know in the comments.